everybody. Stay with me for a few minutes today. We'll be taking a look at the GTI with the Autobahn package on it. Since my last video with Derek doing a test drive in the Golf R, letting him feel it, test it out, trying to figure out reasons why we're not selling enough of them. Well, I could tell you now, you know, a few weeks later, y'all have definitely commented on that video and gave me all your opinions and uh, feedback that I could take. I mean, it's a lot of inf information coming through on YouTube. And I think that's really the beauty of doing videos and putting them out there on the internet like that to get some of y'all's feedback. Because I really am trying to figure out what the deal is with this golf are why aren't they selling a whole lot well you know so from what from, from some of the information that y'all gave me I learned that uh, you know it's not gonna be a top selling car they don't make a whole lot of them you know in production wise and um, yeah it's not meant to be a top selling vehicle okay so that kind of helped with that now I you know the price range on the car does seem you know like a lot of money uh, 41,615 the car we test drove that day is still sitting right over here so I mean it hasn't gone anywhere and uh, again it's an incredible vehicle all-wheel drive it really is an incredible car um, but you know a lot of y'all have said you know it's kind of bland it's kind of plain you know, it's time for Volkswagen to do something with it. You know, it just doesn't have enough eye candy look to it and all that. So again, you know, I put some shots of uh, different ones on that video that day to show y'all that, hey, these things can look really, really aggressive and look really good. I mean, especially when you deck them out with a nice set of wheels and just, you know, ground effects kits and all kinds of different things y'all do with them. You can make it look extremely beautiful and aggressive. But again, the car's already 41,615. I mean, hey, how much more money do you want to dump into a car, you know, just to make it look cooler, right? So, uh, and a lot of times people that are buying golf R's and vehicles like that, it's not really all about the cool factor of looking cool, right? It's really about the performance and uh, what's going on behind the driver's wheel. So that's one thing there. And then another thing I think it was that y'all talked about a little bit other than price was um you know the 2018's coming out you know so it may have some differences we're talking about a digital dash on the 2018 so that's some positives there with that um but anyways yeah i and, and again some of y'all mentioned that it's not a it's not a vehicle that's in competition between you know chevy camaros dodge challengers and things like that i think really the only reason i brought that that up on my video is because I see so many American muscle cars on the road nowadays and I don't see as many uh, you know German engineered vehicles on the road okay I mean we do see a lot of Volkswagens and Audis on the road but you know for sports cars a lot more American muscle compared to European muscle right um, now over in the UK and Europe and things like that it seems like this is a super hot selling car over there and a lot of people are driving them anyway so enough with that Thanks for listening to me for three minutes. But let's go ahead and hop in the uh, the Audubon GTI. Check it out. Before we do, I want to. It's windy today. We got a pretty bad storm out there over our coast right now. I mean, Texas just got nailed hard uh, with uh, what was it, Harley or Harvey or something like that. But um, so my Sony camera right now doesn't have any mic set up on it. So hopefully we're not getting too much. Uh, audio issues going on but I did want to show you all a few things here so there's that golf R right there that we drove in the video with Derek the stunt driver but I wanted to show you all something let me get my camera off me and come over here here's a so I mean it is a good price range though on these little type cars 2017 Golf GTI Sport I mean 29,61335 so 29 grand for a GTI Sport five-star safety ratings good stuff 2.0 liter turbo right okay so I mean 29,135 so pretty decent price range on the Sport GTI right there nice color there's your Golf R there's another GTI there here's a, just a regular Golf and then the one we're gonna drive is right here it does bump up a lot in price with your Autobahn. It's 36,000 once or 760, 36,760. Okay, and then when they add on these splash guards, wheel locks, nitrogen, aquapel, dealer prep, safety security package, it's 38,349. So it, this right here is this expensive is 1589 for, for those options on there, but again, 36,760 is MSRP. So as you can see, I mean. 29,000 to 36 to 41 6 I mean it's it's a lot of money for a car like this is it worth it 
okay that's really the question is it really worth that much money right I mean for thirty six thousand dollars or even forty thousand dollars I mean how many options do you have on buying different cars and things like that right I mean with forty grand will you get the performance that you want for forty thousand dollars it's possible it's possible okay you may be looking at BMWs you may be looking at Lexus I mean well Lexus I'm not sure what you're gonna get for forty grand um, Mercedes-Benz and AMG I don't know what you're gonna get for forty grand Honda the new SI maybe the Type R very limited I mean the SI though again front-wheel drive I don't know a different type of beast maybe a Mazda Mazda doesn't even have anything right now that's super 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 sporty not really do they no so anyways so for, for 30,000 to 40,000 you get a nice little car here with the Volkswagen I mean it's turbo it's got plenty of get up it's sporty right but again some of y'all are saying hey it's just it's bland it's plain it's not nothing to it right I guess it's all opinion anyways well I'm going to put the key in the ignition but that doesn't work on this car you got a start stop engine button in here so I just put my foot on the brake hit the button cranks it right up all right let's take it for a quick spin see what it's all about again this is just front wheel drive no all-wheel drive I definitely do prefer all-wheel drive if you can get all-wheel drive hey why not right I mean spend the extra money get the all-wheel drive nice though let's turn the camera around again let's take a look here oh I got a big tripod on my camera right now so let me cut recording real quick and switch things up all right so so far looking pretty good you know this particular car will have the DSG transmission which is great start stop engine button leather boot e-brake how about that pretty sweet getting that on here leather wrapped steering wheel very nice fender stereo system okay so that's nice again I like those paddle shifters you know again the Volkswagen's fit and finish is very clean very simple everything looks like it's in order and just the way it needs to be dual climate control heated seats driver passenger side all that good stuff all right let's take it for a quick spin what's it sound like right okay it's been cranked up for a few minutes now let's hear what it sounds like all right sounds pretty good sounds like it's got some power to it right not too bad all right here we go well I'm in drive aren't I I believe I am no I'm actually there's drive I was in neutral <laughs> all right let's see we got a little rain going on it's all good though it's not gonna stop us here in the hood all right there we go one thing I can tell you folks Volkswagens they are really good about their windshield wipers I mean they always seem to uh, do a good job of cleaning those windows for us it's always and you can smell the uh, you can always smell the window washer fluid inside of a Volkswagen has anyone ever noticed that that drives a VW you, you clean off your windows you know like this right here and you can smell the soap just coming inside right well if you're wondering how that happens it's, there's those vents up there outside and that smells coming right through there when it's all recirculate and it's coming into the car right all right let's see here come on mr. van move out my way over there in that building right there that's a crematorium how about that crematorium and uh, when they start burning bodies in the crematorium I'm telling you it really stinks up the parking lot at the dealership it really does it's um you know there was a day uh, this past summer I was out there doing an event and I smelled a really weird awful smell and I didn't know that was a crematorium over there and uh, anyways I walked up to a sales guy I was like hey man I was like what's that smell you know it smells like burning meat it wasn't a good smell okay it didn't smell like barbecue cooking okay and um, he said Chad there's a uh, there's a funeral home over there in a cre crematorium 
I was like, wow, freaking we. You know, I mean, I thought about it. I was like, you know, why can't they put some kind of seasoning on the body before it starts burning? Just to make it smell a little better for us, you know, when we're out here working on the car lot. I mean, customers don't want to smell that crap, right? It's, I mean, it's horrible. But anyways, so far it feels good. I mean, I knew it would. It's a great little car. And uh, I want to give it a little more gas. I've been waiting for some of these cars to get away from us so we can kind of feel it. So let's do that right about now. We'll mash it down a little bit. Oh, it pulls so nicely. That front wheel drive, you can really feel it just pulling in the front. Of course, it's front wheel drive. That's why. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, I don't have my seatbelt on. I know. I know, I know, I know. Hillary, Hillary, I know. Hillary, I know. Anyways, all right. Looking good so far. Suspension feels good. I mean, it cuts around that corner nicely. Um, I do thank each and every one of y'all for watching the videos with me today on Charleston Car Videos, or maybe you're on Stokes Volkswagen on Facebook. Thank you so much. I do appreciate it. We definitely have a lot of fun on this channel, filming cars and just, you know, getting out there, test driving things and trying to be a little different with my videos. And uh, so I do appreciate y'all watching. I appreciate y'all commenting, liking, and uh, and giving me some feedback, okay? I really do. I am one, I am trying to hit 10,000 subscribers by Christmas uh, so we can start doing live streaming off a mobile device on uh, on YouTube here. And we, we could do some live stream videos with cars and uh, test drives maybe when new cars come out do a live stream launch party stuff like that but uh i can't go live on on youtube like that until i hit 10k subscribers so we're working hard on it hopefully we can hit it by christmas so if you're watching right now and uh and you're not subscribed but you have watched some videos before on the channel or maybe this is your first time please hit that subscribe button and uh and help us hit that 10k mark so we can really take this channel to a whole nother level. I would appreciate that so much, folks. Thank you. But, um, yeah, great car. Drives good. Um, I like it. You know, I'm a, the brakes feel good, as you felt right there. Wow. I mean, I wanted to turn road quickly like that, and I just hit those brakes and took the turn. It felt great, and the body roll wasn't too bad. Um, looks like we're going to get stuck behind an 18-wheeler here for a second. But uh, what we can do, I'll show you how the turning radius works. You just turn this little puppy around like this. The turn radius is not that good, as you can see right there. I mean, I had to literally go into that other road right there to do that. So uh, that's a little odd to me. You would think a small car like this would have a better turn and radius. Not so much. But the brakes feel good. Again, it's a GTI. There's going to be a lot of y'all out there that are going to buy this before they buy a Golf R. Oh yeah, sounds good, feels good. That turbo didn't seem too laggy there, okay? When I hit the gas pedal down, the car went. So that was nice. Let's pull back into the Stokes V-Dub store. Hey folks, just to let you know too, if there's any other Volkswagens you would ever like to see me uh, do a review on or test drive, let me know in the comments section. We got tons of vehicles here at the dealership and uh, I can film them for you whenever you like. So let me know in the comments. If there's something you'd like to see me film or, or uh, you got an idea like a night review or you know lighting review, whatever's going on, let me know. If there's a feature on the car that you would like me to go over and take a look at, let me know in the comments. Again, I can't do this stuff without y'all's help, so uh, let me know. Give me some feedback and I'll make it happen. All right, let's get out and take a look at the car real quickly here. Uh, before we park it back and start filming another car. Let's cut our headlights on, our fog lights on. Let's have a look at our lights, our blinkers. One thing I always like to do is take a look at the lighting on a vehicle. I think that's super important to do because uh, people don't get to see that a whole lot. You know, a lot of times you buy a car during the daytime and you don't get to see the lighting on the car until you get home that night, right? And, uh, and to me, looking at the lighting is an important part of the car buying process. Again. So uh, one thing I like about this car is the headlights. They look really good. And then I like that down there, how it's set away, kind of hidden back there. You'd never know there was lights in the bottom of the bumper down there until you cut them on. 
So that's pretty sweet. I like the red. Everything looks nice. The blinkers are down on the bottom. You got your daytime running lights right throughout there. You also have blinkers in here. And uh, tail lights are looking good, as you can see right there. The car looks good in the front, looks good in the back. I, I mean, I personally, I think it's a very sporty car. I think it looks good. I know some of y'all said it was kind of bland or kind of plain, and that's why it didn't sell as good as it should. You know, I think it's a beautiful car. It's a really nice looking car. And, uh, and not everybody wants the bling bling kind of look going on. People, some people like a nice clean ride and uh, when they pull it to the stoplight, they smoke the pants off of that Mustang, you know, or something like that. So anyways, thanks for watching the video. I'm liking that dual exhaust right back there. Let's take a look in the trunk, see what kind of space we have back here. And uh, once again, it's actually a lot of room in the back of the GTI. Very, very, uh, very spacious back there. And I like how the back seats fold down. You got a 60-40 back seat split. You got a ski through that goes right through the middle. And then uh, Volkswagen does a great job of having a net in here, having a roadside assistance kit, those rubber floor mats, all that good stuff right there. And I'll tell you, that roadside assistance kit, folks, has got a bunch of goodies in there, okay? I mean, no doubt. It's got a lot of cool stuff in that roadside assistance kit. You know, you, if you buy a Volkswagen brand new, break it out and go in that roadside assistance kit and check out some of the stuff it comes with. I mean, you might find some things in there that you want to pull out of there and, uh, and use, actually, right? I mean, it's got this cool looking knife that does all these different things. It has like a, uh, a wrench on it and all kinds of stuff, which is really neat. But anyways, as you can see, the rain is coming in right now. Thanks for watching the video. I'm gonna park the car back and, uh, and haul tail inside.